Hey, it's Jess Bricks uh, here at the Brick Kiln. Just got here. It is Sunday uh, the 8th. Just got back from uh, my weekend getaway with my wife. We went down to the beach. And uh, before I left, I packed up all my uh, sorted Lego into these bins. Got it all piled up there. And I just have these three bins of the other parts. Uh, my Technic is in those two blue buckets. And then I got a bin full of wheels that's probably going to get switched into this. Actually, my Technic's probably going to go in here because I don't think I'm going to try and down sort and lift, list those wheels yet. But uh, while I was down at the beach, picked up a few things. Um, this store here, I'm going to put in a few clips from the store right after this. They had a lot of stuff. Um, they're down there at uh, Rehoboth, Rehoboth Beach. That's where we went for our little getaway. And really neat store, lots of cool stuff. And the largest Lego selection I have seen outside of a Lego store that wasn't also a like off-brand Lego store or an in independent store that only sells Lego. Uh, they had a lot of different stuff. Um, I got three of these, uh, three of the Muppets minifigures on my, uh, before we left on our trip. No, oh, I got, uh, this Mountain Dew while I was there and I hadn't kept one of these bottles yet. So I kept one of those from my collection. Uh, these are just some bumper stickers and stuff we got. But from the store, I got couple of these. I think I got three of these Lloyd suit mech poly bags. I hadn't seen them. Uh, the part out value is, I think, like $9.50, $9.70, something like that. They're five bucks each, so not a great part out value, but it kind of makes sense with one of the other things that I got, which let's see, make sure it's in here. It is not. I left my other thing at my house, but uh, I got three of a different... Um, Ninjago set. It was one of the spinners with, it was, uh, shoot. I'm ex going to uh, expose myself as a non Ninjago person. It was whatever the red ninja is in like a tornado thing. Uh, it's a fairly recent set from what I can tell, but for some reason, Walmart had them clearanced out at $5 instead of the $10 they normally are. Which is funny because it actually has fewer pieces than this set. I think that set has 32 pieces and it's a $10 set. This is almost 60 pieces and it's a $5 set. So who knows? And then I also picked up two of these guys. Again, I, this one's probably not a good part out value. I didn't look it up, but the ax is a cool piece and I really like those new fire helmets. Those are really neat. And of course, neon yellow. So, yeah, there's a couple more of those. Uh, of the the Muppets figures, this one I think. Well, I didn't. I, I did open it, but I haven't done anything with it. Uh, I got two of the scientist and one of Beaker. I'm sure the scientist has a name, but I don't know what it is. Really, the only one I know is Beaker. And he's my favorite, so I had to pick up a beaker. And I also have the scientist. I got two of him because I like these uh, flasks. Not going to try and pronounce the actual word for it, but the flask is a really cool piece. And then the last thing I got from that bookstore was this. Now, these are pretty expensive. You can see the price there, $12.95, $13 for sticky notes. But... uh really cool thing. I'd never seen this before and it just seemed like an interesting item. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get it open so I can show what it actually looks like. Okay, so I totally misjudged this. You can see the cool box and all that. It looks like it's built out of Lego, but it's not even sticky notes. They're just sheets of paper, not even lined on the back. So it's an interesting Lego uh, branded item. They had several interesting Lego branded items. One of them was uh, playing cards that looked like this on the back, and then the this 
face characters and all were all minifigures and stuff. But as far as Lego branded items go, this is terribly overpriced because you're just getting 224 individual sheets of paper that aren't even lined. So not super useful. I'm still going to use them. But yeah, um, I guess if you want to make Lego themed notes to somebody, if I, if I include a note with an order or something, maybe I'll write in on that. But yeah, so that was more than I should have spent on that for sure. So that's the stuff I got for my trip. I'll have to find that other thing later. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and start picking orders because I have, I think, 10 of them to pick. All right, well, this is going to be quite the order to pick. Um, thanks, Will Harper, for the large order. Um, whew, that's going to take a while. All right, so I got uh, seven orders picked and packed. I haven't messed with uh, Will Harper's order yet just because uh, well, it's it's a lot. So, I've got those orders picked and packed. Got one of them ready to go out because it was placed on uh, I think it was placed Thursday night on Brick Owl and I didn't have a disclaimer up saying that that wasn't going to go out right away um, due to being out of town and so I want to make sure that that one gets out as quickly as possible then the rest can all wait until tomorrow afternoon when I get back to go out the next thing I'm going to be doing this week is coming back to this stuff here in the miscellaneous and large parts I want to get these uh, uploaded that's my next project is trying to get all this stuff figured out and uploaded once I get the orders taken care of but uh, that's going to wrap up Sunday night, and I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, it's just Bricks. It is Tuesday. Uh, been here for a little bit, packing Will Harper's order. This is all of the new parts from the order. A lot of dark reds, dark bluish gray, white, and light bluish gray. A lot of those colors. We got some uh, window and plant parts in there. We got a lot of different white pieces and plates got eight of my uh, 16 by 16 plates there some slopes those pieces some mini figure parts there and the remainder of my dark red masonry bricks from the uh, Super Mario sets that I parted out uh, sometime last year when they went on clearance so there's all that stuff getting ready to pick the uh, used lots now I have picked 114 out of 246 so I have just over halfway to go so 
Well, there you, that's my update, and I'll let you know when I finish. I think Will Harper heard me say uh, that I wanted to clear out my organizers because all these are in organizers. <laughs> So, thanks for that, Will. And get rid of those. All right, and the second half of the order is done. All the used parts. Um, I did have one part. Let's see here. This torso. Uh, for one thing, it's the wrong torso. And for another, you can just make it out there on the side. Actually, both sides are cracked on this torso. So, double wrong. Double junk. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the rest of Will Harper's order. And uh, yeah, I got a bunch of those minifigure parts. There's a couple used capes in there. Um, some heads and headgear. Lots of dark red, white, and gray. So glad to uh, be able to get this order out. I'm going to try and get it packed up and ready to go. All right, this is going to go in priority flat rate mail. It's over three pounds. So I went ahead and made a bricky and gave him a sticker. Um, this is a dark red bricky just because so many dark red pieces. And then I used dark bluish gray since he got those two. And then the eyes are white. So three of the main colors from this order. I'm going to go ahead and seal this up. I am using my Just Bricks tape. That's pretty cool. And boom. Just got to tape that shut and I'm ready to go. I went ahead and picked my last order. There was only one, one other order other than Will's. And it was these just 16 lots. I sold all of the light aqua one by one tiles I had for my dot sets. Uh, there were 64 of these and they were 11 cents each, so it was over $7 in these tiles. So that paid for like 12 packs of uh, dots. So very good sale there. Very happy to see these guys leave. And they're going to get a brickie as well, just because I feel like it. All right, and if you guys uh, want a brickie, if you place an order in my store, just let me know. And uh, just put a note there when you check out, and I'll make sure you get one. So. All right, I am back. It is Tuesday. Uh, just got to the brick kiln. Last night before I left, I went ahead and put all of my unsorted bulk over here. And then all my stuff that's been sorted into categories is up here waiting for me to downsort and upload. And then uh, I didn't mention this last night, but I did bring those sets in with me. Last night I bought these uh, Ninjago sets from my trip. Oh, hopefully the receipt. Yes, okay. So the receipt has the uh, set number on there, so I can use that when I go to part these out. So I'm going to get those parted out eventually. Probably not tonight, because tonight I've got other things going on. Apparently on BrickLink and Brick Freedom. The picture that comes up when uh, someone orders light nougat or nougat hands is the light nougat hand picture. So uh, I sent light nougat instead of nougat. So I'm going to get these packed up and sent out. That kind of hurts a little because that was a few dollars worth of parts from the uh, those Jurassic World sets that I, I had. So... It wasn't a great part out value on them and that makes it even worse so it's unfortunate but i will get those mailed out today this was today's uh mountain dew drink which i i had this one which was the mexican version um i have to say this one here is much better this one's almost undrinkable this one while not a great energy drink is not bad but uh i remember something about the amp energy drinks from back in the day and i want to see if it's still if it's still true oh man it's still true it glows under black light 
does not look like something you should be drinking, does it? <laughs> Alright, well, it is still Tuesday. I'm at home. Got my order from Lego from May the 4th. And I wasn't going to record this, but uh, I just had to show this. Um, open the box. Oh, look. Oh, look. Here somewhere, I'm sure. Or it better. Be. Oh, there it is. I mean, it's cool, but uh, that's kind of disappointing. So I put it back in the box. Noticed. This bottom edge is dinged up, so that's very disappointing. Come on, Lego. Do better. But yeah, I got the uh, Imperial Light Cruiser for the figures, mostly. I'm gonna part out everything. And Cynthia was so kind to give me a Dark Trooper. I'm just gonna sell this one and probably sell Mando and Grogu, too. But I'll probably part out Fennec Shand, actually and just keep her helmet so I can have both with and without the helmet. And I don't think I have a Cara Dune. And then I got these guys. All right, it is Thursday. I uh, just got to the Brick Kiln. I forgot to record a video last night. Um, I just picked some orders and then I started uh, opening up my uh, set that I got from the May the 4th promotion. I had this one. Basically just so it was uh, enough to get all three of the uh, promos. And uh, I also wanted to make sure I got the Moff Gideon figure. Which, now that I bought this set, it'll probably come out in a $50 set in the next wave of sets. But uh, And I also wanted to get Fennec, Fennec Shand with the helmet. So, got that. And I'm going to go ahead and try and part that out, get it uploaded, and then also upload... Um, the used parts that I've been cataloging, I got, I think, around 200, 300 parts to upload from that. And, uh, yeah, so that's my goal for today. All right, so I am uploading. Well, uh, first off, it is Friday night. Um, I forgot to record a final video the other night. Um, I started parting out my uh, Mandalorian set the um imperial light cruiser parted out just about everything but the minifigures and the light bluish gray parts uh, that's the total so far right there 157 27 and uh i did have i mean i still have quite a few parts to upload i didn't have a whole lot of time tonight to, to deal with it uh but yeah so i've got the minifigures that i'm keeping in here Moff Gideon and such. And yeah, just got all these parts to upload. Really was hoping to get more done tonight, but uh, just haven't been able to get there. Story of this week, really. Um, this is going to end the video for the week. Not a super productive week, but uh, I don't know. It's It's a mess been quite a quite a lot of time not a whole lot going on uh, other than some big orders early in the week I haven't had a whole lot of time to get stuff uploaded and that's what I really want to focus on this coming week try and get some of this bulk uploaded I just need about four more hours a day <laughs> All right, this is going to wrap up the video for this week. Um, I'm wearing my new Haunted Mansion shirt from the uh, Haunted Mansion at Rehoboth Beach at Funland. Uh, yeah, I'm going to come in next week and try and get some more used uploaded. Uh, I'm going to be out of town again tomorrow, so I won't have a chance to do any uploading tomorrow. Um, 
But when I come back, I'm gonna try and get all these light bluish gray parts uploaded and then get this stuff uploaded as well. Um, I still have quite a few lots, these and uh, all the parts that's been, these have all been cataloged. I just haven't had a chance to go through and enter remarks for them and get them in drawers. Uh, and then this is just what's left from my most recent bulk lot sort. So still got all that to deal with, but uh, just hasn't been a super productive week. But hey, there's always next week. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Roman's adventure is yours.